This week I made this power bank to charge my mobile on the go. It's packed with 4200 milliamps of power and I'm going to show you how I made this. So stick around. Here is the battery from an old laptop. I am making sure it's lithium ion battery and checking the maximum volts. This one seems to be 10.8 volts. So that tells me that there will be 3 pairs of batteries. Because each battery is 3.6 volts and multiplied by 3 gives 10.8 volts. Then I am just finding the gap near the pins and using a screwdriver to gently tap and create the gap. Once the gap is big enough then I can use pliers to rip it apart. I want to caution you here that lithium ion batteries may explode. So be careful and be gentle when opening the case. This is the charging circuit. We will be using our own circuit so we don't need this one. There are no parts to salvage too so I am just cutting it off using pliers. These batteries are factory welded but a careful pull with the pliers will set them free. Now I set to test the batteries. This one is good because it measures around a good 3.8 volts. The second one is also good. But the third one measures only 0.6 volts so this is a faulty one. Maybe because of this the battery failed. Oh, the other one is also 0.6 volts. So that's two batteries down. Let's see if the rest two are any good. Yep, they measure around 2 volts, so I think I might be able to use them after charging. So from this old laptop battery, I was able to get 4 good batteries. So here are the 3D printed parts. The 4 parts, this is the case that will enclose the batteries. This is the spacer for the screw. This is the spacer in which we will be gluing the circuits. And this is the lid. Let me go ahead and clean this up. This is the TP4056 circuit which will help charge the lithium ion batteries and this is a voltage booster which pumps up only 5 volt regulated supply. So this will be connected to the batteries and these things have the battery terminals along with the output terminals. So the output will be connected to the boost converter and the battery terminals will be connected to the battery. Right now if I connect my charger to here, you will be able to see a small SMD LED being lit up. I want to convert and change those SMD LEDs into 3mm LEDs so that's what I'm gonna go ahead and do right now. Now that the switch is glued on, it's time to connect the charging circuit with the boost converter. I'm going to do that through the switch so that when I turn on the switch, the power goes from the output terminals of the charging circuit to the boost converter. Using the file, I prep the battery surface for soldering. Soldering adheres well to rough surfaces.
Now it's time to put all together. The lid just slides in and I secure it with the screws. Here I'm connecting the micro USB from my phone charger and you can see the charging LED light up. And here turning on the switch lights up the voltage booster denoting us that it's ready to charge the mobile. This is a small gadget which measures voltage and current from USB ports. Here you can see the port delivering a constant 5 volts. And when I connect the USB to its output, it shows the current draw. My mobile draws up to 40 milliamps. And here's the close up to show it's working.